Burns Philip Food v. Cavalea Continental Freight tells the tale of an accidental trespass that was part of a comedy of errors of inattention. In 1986, Nabisco sold a tract of industrial real estate in Chicago. Cavalea Continental Freight bought part of it. Burns Philip Food bought the rest. As the first mistake in a series of transactions plagued by carelessness, tax officials recorded Burns as the owner of two parcels that actually belonged to Cavalea. Neither business noticed. Burns had its property surveyed so it could build a fence on the property line. The surveyor did a lousy job, and Burns's new fence accidentally captured 2,000 square feet of Cavalea's land. Neither business noticed. In 1993, an audit revealed that Burns had paid about $125,000 in taxes on Cavalea's land. Cavalea refused to reimburse Burns, so Burns sued for restitution. In 1995, Cavalea discovered that Burns had enclosed some of its land within its fence. It filed a counterclaim against Burns, seeking damages for trespass to land. When the trial finally occurred, the district court judge held that Cavalea had been unjustly enriched by the tax payments and ordered Cavalea to pay Burns back. He held that the unjust enrichment claim was an equity claim and that, accordingly, the amount of restitution wasn't limited by the state statute on unwritten contracts. The judge also held that based on elemental justice, Cavalea wasn't entitled to damages for trespass because it hadn't notified Burns that the fence had been built on Cavalea's land before filing its counterclaim. Cavalea appealed the amount awarded in restitution and the decision on the trespass claim.